is Keegan Michael Key. Thank you for being with us. I watched the movie and it was amazing. I want to know how are you, but really, like, do you feel pressure? There are so many fans of Toad and, of course, of Super Mario, of Mario, all over the world. So do you feel any pressure? I do. I do, Danielle. I feel a little bit of pressure about what it's going to be and how people are going to receive the movie. But I feel like it's a really good movie. I feel like people are going to really enjoy it. And I know that, you know, the voices that people heard on the video game are different than they are in the movie. But I think that they'll they'll accept that and, and, and like that and enjoy it because the movie's the, the story of the movie is so good. As a fan of Mario, I have to tell that it is so true to the game. So great job for all the cast and of, uh, and congratulations for you too, always. But um, for you, what kind of hero is Toad? Well, I think here, I think Toad is is very courageous. I think that Toad is a hero because I mean, you saw when they say that the Mushroom Kingdom is in trouble and everybody just starts running away and everyone goes off the, and, and and hides. Toad is the one Toad who decides that he's gonna, you know, he's gonna stand up and fight with uh, and protect his princess. I just think that he's a very courageous character and he's willing to go on this adventure. He doesn't know where he's going. He doesn't know what's gonna happen and he's willing to go and do it anyway. And maybe this is something you want to give to the fans, right? Like the message, like something that maybe they can learn from your character, right? That's right. That's absolutely right. I would hope that people would say, I'm going to go with the flow. And, and also it helps people understand, like, when you love something or love a place, like Toad loves the Mushroom Kingdom, that you would do anything to protect it. How did you get into Toad's head? Uh, I mean, the, the the work you did was amazing, not only talking about the voice that you have already talked a lot of this, but uh, we can see a really uh, the real talk. How did you get into his head? So what I did is I tried to think about what is it that he, like I just said, what is it that he loves most in the world? And what is it that he wants most in the world? And I think that he has so much pride about the Mushroom Kingdom that he wants the Mushroom Kingdom to be safe, but he also wants really badly to go on an adventure. And so when he meets Mario, he really can't help, he can't wait to show Mario where he's from. And oh. then when they find out that they're in imminent danger, then he's just like, oh, are we, are we gonna go on an adventure? I can't wait, let's go on an adventure. I wanna go on an adventure. He, that's why he has his backpack, because he's always waiting to go on an adventure. And um, and I think that, that that's what helped me get into his head is that, he, he's been waiting for this his entire life, and now he finally gets to do it. And he gets to do it with the princess. The last question, this was always the character you wanted to play. I heard that you love also Donkey Kong, but this was always the character you wanted to play for this movie? Toad, when they, when they asked me to play Toad, that was the character I wanted to play, yeah. I felt like um, he, gets, he, gets, he gets a lot of the fun, I mean, to be honest, a lot of the fun laugh lines. And he gets to have he gets to have fun, and he also gets to be one of the heroes of the story. So that was important, you know, to me to say, hey, uh, yeah, I would love to play this character. <laughs> Keegan Michael Key, thank you for being with us. Thank you, thank you for being so true with this character and with this movie. Thank you, Daniela. Nice to meet have you. Have a great day. Bye. You too. Bye. Take Matt. care.